So, Saray, if I were a student, how should I spend my time while career searching? Aha, uh -huh, yeah, really good question. So I think in the big picture, you'll want to be as productive and proactive as you can. Mm -hmm. So use this downtime to your advantage. Gotcha. So what I mean by that is number one, if you can, if you are able to work right now, it doesn't matter what it is, part-time job that you've had during college, it, it doesn't matter. If right. you're able to work, I would. Gotcha. Work makes you feel productive you're earning money you're networking with people so no job is is a bad job right now mm -hmm. secondly again staying connected with your network um, i would make a goal every day to reach out to two or three people in your network give them a phone call texting is fine but you get a lot more information from a phone call mm -hmm. um, the third thing is you can do a lot of learning online so you could, from home, be advancing your skills um, in, in a lot of different categories. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing I would recommend is make sure you get your resume and LinkedIn profile like ready to go so that when the opportunities do pop up, you're ready. So again, your resume review can be done through career services, your LinkedIn profile, you can update your, your profile picture to be a professional shot, a headshot. You can do that at home. Yep. Uh, make sure that yep. your job history, your education is all up to date, your interests on LinkedIn. Um, you can have other people in your professional network um, make recommendations for you on your LinkedIn profile, which looks really great. Nice. Um, so there's a, a lot you can do with that. The next word of advice is exercise and eat right, <laughs> because when you feel healthy, it gives you more energy, mm -hmm. and it's going to give you um, it's going to give you the energy to balance online learning because right now you're taking classes online. If you're working a job, um, if you're job searching, that's a lot, and so mm -hmm. it'll give you the energy to do all of that. Nice. And my final word of advice with being productive and proactive is to do some informational interviews. So reach out to people in the industry that you're interested in, even if they're not actively hiring, and talk to people and, and gather information about the industry. That will let them know mm. that you're interested for when that day comes that they are actively hiring. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Great tip. Yeah, great. No, it's a lot of organizations that are offering free or low cost trainings right now and everything from Excel to database training and everything. So there's definitely a lot of things that can be done right out there in the economy. So great. Thanks.